Hey everyone, hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving weekend. Welcome to an episode of the Shoe Fly Update Show. A lot of exciting things coming up for the month of December and January. We want to make sure you are up to speed on what to expect at the gym this week. So we're actually going to turn it over to Street, who's going to tell us a little bit about the programming and the scheduling for the upcoming week. Hey, everybody. Uh, hopefully you guys had a great holiday. I know that uh, for many of us, we were able to hang out with some family, see some friends, that sort of thing, which is really good um, time of year and a great time of year to eat all the food. So this week, we should all be feeling fueled up ready to go, ready to work out hard. Um, I do have to tell you guys that every Sunday we do this update show <laughs> and it's conveniently at the same time as Julie blowing leaves. So this is my competition currently. <laughs> and if you can't hear me very well, I'm sorry, it's the leaf blower. Um, so the programming this week is going to be much like last week. We will be, this is just ridiculous. Like <laughs> that's her debut to the update show this week. Um, so anyways, y'all, the programming this week is a lot like last week and it is going to be squatting on Monday and we're going to be back squatting and we are going to be doing that at tempo. We haven't done too much tempo stuff this week, but we will still continue to do some high volume squatting after our tempo. So you will have noticed um, a little bit of heavy squats followed by a drop set. This week will be a little bit different. We're actually gonna go a little lighter and work on tempo. So more time under tension. And then we will um, actually increase the weight and we will hit as many reps as we can at that weight. And the goal there is to actually stop before failure. So you want to go right up to about one or two reps before you feel like you would fail, maybe not be able to come out of the bottom of that squat. Um, so that's what we're looking for on Monday. And then Wednesday is going to be uh, like deadlift power clean, very similar to what we did last week. And then Friday, we're going to continue on with the front squats, followed by volume squats of some sort after that, which um, has been in the capacity of thrusters, wall ball shots, goblet squats, uh, jumping air squats. We've, we've kind of done it all. We're just going to continue to be creative in ways that we can burn up our legs. And a lot of people have asked me, why are we doing this? And the reason why is because really trying to build up muscular endurance. So if you think about some of these open workouts where you have um, lighter weight, but like tons of reps and your legs are just burning, they're on fire, they feel like you're in cement. Um, this is a great way to train that and uh, hopefully increase our threshold and our ability to move for that many reps. So just try and delay that leg fatigue as best as we can and honestly get a little comfortable being in it um, and knowing that I can continue to move even though this doesn't feel awesome right now. Um, so that's why we're doing it. So expect much of that this week for the programming. Uh, another thing that I wanted to talk about just in regards to like classes or like what's going on when we're in class um, just a very friendly reminder that we don't want to clean up our equipment when other people are still working out. Um, so obviously if it's lifting, it's that sport or fit option and maybe fit gets done before sport or whatever, that's fine. But when we get into that Metcon or we're in that last part of class and you've got people who are trying to finish it out and you've just, you know, went a little bit faster. Um, just hold off on cleaning up your equipment. Um, you don't need to go grab that, that spray bottle. You don't need to wipe down your stuff until everyone's done. One, it's just a, it's a sign of respect. You know, it sends a message that people um, care about your workout. And um, it's a great way to also make sure that we stay safe. I don't want anyone traveling through the gym with their pieces of equipment while other people are still trying to do their work. Um, so Friendly reminder, let's not clean up too early. Wait till everyone's done. The coach will tell you guys when to clean up. So when that workout is done, they'll release you to do that. Now, if you have to leave, um, let's say you're on a tight timeline, you need to get out of here, just tell the coach you got to go and the coach will clean up your stuff for you. Don't take advantage of that. Only happens every now and then. So if it's the same person just wanting the coach to clean up their stuff, we'll figure that out. But uh, if you've got somewhere to be, just let that coach know. Um, and we are happy to clean up your stuff for you if you have somewhere to be. Um, but on, the, on the, the side of classes, let's just make sure we're continuing to encourage everyone, continuing to uh, push everybody. 
um, and know that, you know, we want everyone to succeed and we care about their workout as well. Um, so that's the message that we want to send, uh, especially as we get deep into this open preparation. The workouts are only going to get more difficult. And we're also going to have a lot of people trying movements that maybe they haven't tried before. So it could take them longer to get through workouts. Um, so just be mindful of that and, and continue to encourage, encourage everybody um, to get better. So with that being said, I'm going to pass this off to Chelsea so she can talk about some fun stuff regarding Barbell Club. All right, y'all. For Barbell Club, we are getting ready for our uh, ECU meet that we're going to in January. It's going to be at the end of January, January 29th. That'll be in Greenville at the Student Rec Center. It's a really cool meet because it is on the basketball courts, like right in the middle of the rec center. So you know, if you like weightlifting and you want to try getting out there and, and feeling like a big event, even though it's not big, it feels bigger because uh, you're out on this stage and uh, really pushes those uh, comfort boundaries. Maybe that's one of your New Year's resolutions. Then this would be a great way to get in there. So far, Edwin and Brad are committed and uh, Jacob is teetering and we're just going to push him over that ledge and he's going to come to Greenville with us, too. Uh, so that's what's going on with Barbell Club. We're all prepping for that meet. Uh, keeping in mind that you guys are doing a lot of uh, muscular endurance stuff for your legs in class, right? Uh, just talk with me or whoever is on Barbell Club that night. If your legs are feeling smoked, maybe we save those squats for another day um, or we adjust those percentages so that you can still, you know, get in some work, but not completely crush your knees and your glutes and all that stuff. So just keep that in mind. And then moving forward, we got the Christmas party coming up. It's back. Woohoo, right? We took a hiatus last year. And now we're back Friday, December 17th. Uh, one Evite already went out. We're going to send it out again attached to this email. Uh, so make sure you respond. Uh, let us know you're coming. And if you're bringing a guest or not, uh, the event will be at the gym. So. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> no, it's always a good time at the gym. Um, it's gonna be a cash bar and then it's a $20 cover, but that will include your food for the evening as well as a beer and or wine, two beers and or wine. So everyone wanna mix and match that. Um, 20 bucks. And then if you can pay ahead, well, you should pay ahead. It's not an if, pay ahead. And there will be a QR code also attached to this email so that you can just scan that and pay through PayPal. If you'd like to pay in cash or using your Wattify account, there will be information at the gym for that. And um, I'll have it out so that all the coaches can answer your questions on that, not just me. And then you can get that taken care of. Anna Fallon will be hosting the White Elephant Gift Exchange again. Uh, it's a duty that's been thrust on her the past few years. She does a great job with it. So if you want to participate, you'll just bring a gift. Uh, and I think there is a dollar limit on that. She posted it on the Facebook page. So just check that out. And then if you have any other questions, just let her know. Um, yeah, just let me know. And I'll hand out all her personal information, uh, cell phone number, emails, address, and then you guys can get in touch with her. <laughs> <laughs> kidding 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 but that's all the information for the christmas party and little update my voice is kind of back but not really so this week should be another adventure for all of us and that's all i got <laughs> yeah thanks chelsea and you've probably <laughs> seen and already picked up some of our new swag that's hit the racks we've got the shirts we've got the sweatshirts so uh, big thank you to the Shoe Fly printing crew for putting those together. They look awesome. Uh, if you are still interested in grabbing some of that gear, feel free to grab it off the rack. And we've got a nice sheet over there that allows you to check out and we'll just charge your Wattify account. We'll probably be doing uh, some more shirts and things like that. So be on the lookout for those racks getting restocked as we get closer to the Christmas holiday. So that's the new gear we've got. When it comes to competing, uh, you've probably noticed Shoefly loves to compete, and we have a lot of competitions coming up in the next month or two. It starts this upcoming weekend, uh, December 4th, the Valkyries competition. It is an all-female competition, teams of four. We have two teams who are heading up towards Sua Sponte and Raleigh to take on that challenge. 
Uh, Jess, Emily, Heather, and EB are on one squad. Kendra, Brittany, Kelly, and Allie on the other squad. So if you want, feel free to head up there on Saturday and check them out. We'll be posting some of the workout times and hopefully getting a chance to go live on Instagram so you can watch them uh, compete. Uh, there is also a virtual competition going on right now. So if you are looking for a reason to partner up with somebody and tackle three workouts at ShoeFly, there is a competition called Fight for the Fittest. Uh, there is an RX and scale division, uh, male, male, female, female, male, female teams. They have some really cool prizes, actually. So if you want to check out those workouts, we can provide some information, record yourself doing it, submit your score, and maybe you can win some cool prizes. Uh, they've been a big supporter of us and our shoe fly liftoff. So it's a great way to support them and what, what they've got going on. And then when it comes to January, we've got some really big competitions coming up. You've probably heard of a big event called Wadapalooza. It's down in Miami, Florida. We have five teams and an individual going and that's going to be the weekend of January 13th to 16th. So we are really excited to help all of those athletes get prepared and go down and compete in Miami, a really cool experience. And then the following weekend, there's a competition called Fittest of the Coast, which we've got three teams heading down to Charleston, uh, which will be January 22nd and 23rd. What you'll probably notice is in the upcoming weeks, we like to support our teams and our athletes, both through our cheers, but also sometimes through fundraising efforts because these competitions can cost a little bit of money. So we'll probably be hosting some fundraising opportunities at ShoeFly in the upcoming month. So be on the lookout for that if you want to support some of our teams and helping them to uh, go compete under the ShoeFly name at these awesome competitions. And then after that, in February, we've got the Open. And you've already heard Street talk a little bit about how we're getting ready for it. We are inside of 100 days before the CrossFit Open. So if you have any, uh, anything that you want to work on, skills, nutrition, anything like that, that you're like, hey, I really want the Open to be a big success for me this year, we'd love to help you out as a coaching staff. So please reach out to a coach, find a way that you can get in some extra programming or work on some of those skills or deficiencies. So this year you can crush the Open and hopefully do a little bit better than maybe you've done in the past. On the birthday front, we've got one birthday this upcoming week. Beth Stevenson is celebrating her birthday. So if you get a chance to see her, be sure to wish her a happy birthday. And no new faces this week, although we do have a variety of athletes going through that free week trial process. So as you see folks who you may not recognize in some of our classes, be sure to introduce yourself to him or her and uh, get to know them a little bit. Make sure that they know Shoefly is a great place if they want to come to uh, advance their fitness journey. And so with that being said, that's everything we've got for this week. It's a packed week uh, coming off a great holiday weekend. We look forward to seeing everyone at the gym as we continue to get ourselves ready for uh, the shoe fly holiday party, the competitions coming up, the open. So a really exciting time of year and we're excited to be with you every step of the way. So let's all have a great week and we look forward to seeing you at shoe fly. Bye everybody. Bye.